Hey there, rednecks and preppies, redneck preppies. It's me, the Redneck Preppy. How you doing today? Great. Good. Just a reminder that the Redneck Preppy is also available on Odyssey and Rumble. There are links in the description below. Now, recently I reviewed the new Garmin Zero C1 Pro chronograph, and I briefly mentioned why you might want to know the velocity of the bullets that you're sending downrange. I thought it might be a good idea to expand this into a whole video and explain to new shooters and reloaders why it might be useful and even important to know how fast those bullets are traveling. You can go very deep down this rabbit hole, especially when it comes to chronographs and reloading. What I'm going to tell you today is more of an introduction. Think of this as a jumping off point to doing more research and then getting into pointless arguments on gun and reloading forms. So the first reason why you might want to know the velocity of a bullet you're shooting is to confirm, in the case of manufactured ammunition, that you're getting the velocity the box is telling you you should. Remember that velocity can vary depending on different variables. Manufacturers, for example, are using a test rifle that may not be similar to your own. Ditto, they might be shooting in environmental conditions that are much different from what you'll be. How much of a difference all of that ends up being depends on the rifle, all those other variables, the ammunition, and what you're going to be doing. You also want to confirm that the listed velocity is actually reasonably consistent across the ammunition you're relying on from that manufacturer. Inconsistent velocity from round to round, if those differences are big enough and at a sufficient range, could mean inconsistent results. As a hunter, you want a clean kill and inconsistencies in bullet velocity could make a negative difference. This also pertains to bench shooters who shoot manufactured ammunition. Sloppy velocities could ruin scores or even groups, even if you are doing everything right. Don't assume that because it's factory ammunition, even if the word match is all over the box, that it's beyond reproach. I've seen some rather surprising chrono results from ostensibly quality ammunition. Speaking of hunters, knowing the actual velocity of your ammunition will allow you to accurately calculate the kinetic energy that your bullets are imparting on the animal. Kinetic energy and what the appropriate numbers are for different animals are a hotly debated topic, and I'm not going to get into that today. But if it is important to you, and a factor that you take into account, a chronograph will help you figure that out. Ditto if you load your own hunting ammunition, you can actually factor that into your load development. Another reason is that you'll have the ability to accurately calculate trajectory. Not so important at short to medium ranges. I mean, bullets don't really drop that much at 200 yards. But if you ever want to get into long and extremely long range shooting, you're going to need accurate velocity information. Plugging that and other information into a ballistics program will enable you to know the adjustments that you need to make to land that bullet where you actually want it to go. Chronographing your ammunition will also let you see if there are environmental factors impacting its performance. Reloaders will certainly attest that some powders are more temperature sensitive than others. Now in case you're going to argue that's just a wives tale, I've seen credible experiments showing that temperatures can affect velocity and then possibly expected point of impact. Now granted, those effects are most likely going to affect you at ranges beginning at 200 yards. And that's probably longer than most people would hunt at. But certainly within the wheelhouse of somebody shooting at a range. And if you're a rimfire shooter, you will already know that temperature affects the performance of your ammunition. I'm going to link to an article on temperatures and gunpowder in the description if you want to learn more. I recommend you read it. It's a really good story. Now, if you're a reloader, you already know that uh, published load data and that generated by modeling software often provides estimated val velocities. What a lot of people fail to take into account, however, is that data is based on test equipment in the former and formulas for the latter. So that estimated velocity data could be correct for you, but you don't really know. Using a chronograph will allow you to find out what your velocity actually is. As a reloader, why do you care? Well, the velocities can tell you some things. If you're seeing significant deviations in velocity from shot to shot, there can be a problem with your reloading process. I do need to be clear about this. Velocity consistent ammunition doesn't necessarily mean accurate ammunition. I do find that 
ammunition that is consistent when it comes to velocity means that I've created that ammunition consistently. So that means that I'm consistent when it comes to things like the amount of powder that's poured, the seating depth of the bullet, or neck tension. Once the data tells me that I've managed that consistency, I can then continue to work up loads with the chronograph playing its part that are increasingly accurate in that rifle. Once there, I can then also use chronograph data from those loads to build out things like ballistics tables. So, at the end of the day, do you actually need a chronograph? In all honesty, if you're a shooter, I'd say it's more of a luxury than a necessity. Unless you're involved in long and extreme long range shooting, I don't think you need one. The data you generate from a chronograph, if you're a new shooter, can certainly be useful, but at the same time it risks confusing you or creating paralysis by analysis. That said, if you're a serious or a competitive shooter, having that data is probably more of a help than a hindrance. I think if you're a reloader or a handloader, there is a much stronger case for utilizing a chronograph. The data that you obtain from it will help you in creating optimal ammunition for your firearm. At a minimum, it will at least tell you which loads you're experimenting with are producing inconsistent velocities. The lower the standard deviation, the more consistent the ammunition. You can develop loads without using a chronograph. At the end of the day, the proof is in the size of the groups. I just personally believe that using a chronograph makes things easier. Now, I know shooters and reloaders that have never turned on a chronograph and somehow lived long and happy lives. So if you don't want to spend the money or you don't see the need, you'll probably still enjoy pulling the trigger at the end of the day. At any rate, I hope you found today's video at least be vaguely entertaining and mildly informative. As always, I hope your days at the range are fun. Take care and bye-bye.